we had two, two uh, diverse districts and both of them had a need. One Kawaro, high deprivated area um, and no jobs. Jan, different story altogether. Um, and we'd visited Madame Mata Piako uh, um, a year or so before that um, and there was uh, no unemployment or very little mm. and uh, definitely there was, a, there was a, uh, a chance for local government, Mayor's Task Force, social sector trials through, um, through uh, central government agencies and, uh, and, and, and uh, a private company to come on board and make things happen for us. So it mm. certainly has uh, made a huge change in, in places like Kawaro. To put 40 young people into, into high paid jobs is, has been just um, amazing for us anyway. So. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know, for our district, this has enabled uh, a, a big, significant export business to fulfil the maximum um, capacity that they have. They've kept both their plants running, over 600 people employed, and of course that's the flow out to local contractors as well. And of course there's a social benefit to our communities, Malcolm. Certainly, yes. Malcolm and I both believe this programme can be replicated right across New Zealand, not only in the meat industry, but any willing business that's ready to take this model.